I'm Helen Browning, I'm Chief Executive of the Soil Association and I also farm at Eastbrook which is between uh, Swindon and Wantage in North Wiltshire and uh, we have about 1500 acres there. It's a long thin strip of a farm from the top of the downs right down into the Vale of the White Horse and we keep a whole range of enterprises so we have two dairy herds, lots of beef from the dairy, uh, sheep, uh, arable crops like wheat, barley, oats, beans um, and some agroforestry and we've also got our famous pigs. Uh, so we have about 200 saddleback sows, British saddlebacks, who are the most wonderful breed. Uh, they were very fashionable back in the 50s um, and then when every, all the pigs kept, went indoors and became horribly intensive, uh, they went out of fashion. But they're great mums and they love eating, living outside. And of course an organic uh, pig system is very outdoor based. Um, they farrow outside, we wean them much later so they stay with their mums for at least eight weeks. We don't have to cut their teeth or tails because uh, they're going to live a lovely stress-free life. And once they are weaned, they move into uh, clean paddocks uh, to finish uh, outside as well. So it's a lovely system for uh, the pigs up on our downs. The, the pigs really fit within the rotation. They don't come back to the same ground for at least six or seven or eight years, which is great for them because you don't have the disease burdens or the worm burdens that you would have if they were on the ground for longer. And it's great for the soil too. In an, in an ideal world, uh, pigs would be eating waste rather than grain and protein crops that we could eat ourselves. Pigs have always been the recyclers in society, but they no longer have that role because since foot and mouth and BSE, most of the waste uh, foods, particularly kitchen waste, isn't allowed to go back to pigs anymore. So we end up feeding them uh, organic grains and organic protein crops. And that's probably the downside of pig production. Even though they have pasture and they have silage and other things uh, to eat as well, they do take most of their nutrition uh, from those crops. So in the, in the bigger scheme of things at the Soil Association, we're very keen on ruminant livestock because they can eat grassland, uh, which is important for soil protecting our soils and building fertility on farms. Um, and we would be campaigning to try and bring back waste feeding for pigs so that they're not competing with the human population. One of the other things I'm really proud of uh, is how little antibiotic we need to use uh, on the pig herd. Uh, the fact that they have such an outdoor life, a stress-free life, plenty of fresh air, dry bedding, uh, lots of fun, um, seems to mean that we get very few health problems. Uh, we do use some vaccinations and I think they can be an important uh, part of, of uh, ensuring health, um, but uh, on the whole we have to use very little intervention and uh, that's, uh, that's in a world where we're trying to get rid of uh, the overuse of antibiotics. I think one of the big pluses of organic pig systems is the way we can reduce almost to zero the use of antibiotics.